Well, good afternoon. We're here on the Upper Wiley and look at it. It is just scintillating. We're, I'm just going to move this camera around so you can see. And there's Lee doing what he does best, which is mucking about and getting messy in the water looking for bugs. So what we're going to do is see what we can find, see what the majority of bugs are, see what's living in there. So let's have a little look. Now, there's nothing quite like getting in a river, getting wet. OK, so we've got waders on, so all right. But just over there is Lee. There he is. Lee, give him away, for goodness sake, will you? Now, you will see some fly darting about on, on the surface. Now, I, you've got to be pretty sharp to see these fly, but they're the last remnants of the mayfly hatch. And they're coming back to lay their precious cargo of eggs ready for another year or maybe two years time now lee is just burrowing in with his he's got a special net um it's a special insect net there it is and it's pretty robust actually um i don't know if you could land fish with it lee i guess you could could you could try, yeah, yeah you could try i think you'd probably break your arm um but <laughs> nevertheless um it allows him to just get a really good cargo of bugs of debris everything is going to be caught up in that white pouch there um, and let's see what we've got I mean you, you've given it you've got to give it a specific time though Lee haven't you yeah it's a, it's a three minute kick sample hence the stopwatch so I'm going to go up I don't know if you heard that but it's a three minute kick sample so he's got a stopwatch to make sure apparently that gives you a good species identifying um, volume I suppose is the right but it's going to go in really close here big really green close. beastie right on top big green beastie uh, can you be a bit more technical Lee than a, a big green beastie banded demoiselle a banded demoiselle there's one to check out in those books there we are you're wondering probably why we've got just a scene of a little bit of blue sky and some water but underneath that water if you look deep I'm hoping you can see it. I can't get any closer otherwise I'll drown the camera but there's lots of little min minnows and they're showing little white marks that tell me they're either in the process of mating or have mated. So we're going to see lots of little minnows. I love minnows. They're the first things you catch, Lee, aren't they? Yeah. Minnows. Fantastic. Wonderful thing. Always catch a lot when I go bait fishing for other species. Perfect. Midsummer's day, swans on a chalk stream. Wonderful. Now, Lee and I have put all the contents of that net into this tray, this great big tray. Well, Lee, you tell us about this because there's tons of stuff in here. Look, they're all racing about. It's like a Scalectrix track here. This is all up the river. This is a three minute kick sample. So just with that little net, um, this is a three minute kicking around in the gravel and the weed. And this is all the bugs that have come out in those three minutes. So it's just that little net in three minutes and we've got all of these bugs. What we're going to do is we're going to get up close and personal and we're going to take some of the contents in here and we're going to put it into a certain tray that Lee's brought along that separate the species so you can see what, what life is there that you're probably not seeing. It's a lot easier to see what's going on in this tray. So we've got mayflies, we've got some of the Please, shrimps. I better go on to the mayflies. I'm, I'm going on to a long spidery almost prehistoric looking thing that's ambling about at the moment now what's right. that that is a banded demoiselle look, look look at this this is the banded demoiselle who would imagine that that i'm gonna be rude and say that ugly creature in that white dish turns into this absolutely electrifyingly beautiful creature that you see hugging the rim of lee's net look at it it is absolutely exquisite I'm going to do this really, really quickly because I've taken that nymph out um, of the water and I want to pop him back. I want to put him back in the river. But next to it, on the left-hand side, is our recreation of that nymph. That's how we look to imitate that nymph. It's not bad. I'm looking at the, I suppose, the magnificence of late spring. And what are they, Lee? The mayfly, the, our big mayfly. Aren't they? At, and we, we think... There's one very dark one. You can see it up in the upper right. Let's see if we can go in up much closer. There he is. Look, look. It could be a she, we don't know. Um, and we think that's about to hatch. But Lee, the thing that I've noticed, and you, you've picked up on it too, 
is one very significant thing that I think anglers have overlooked, which is... They are very pale. They seem very, very pale this year. They're almost transparent, aren't they? Look yeah, at that. They are. Almost white, creamy white. Fantastic things. And the sun's just come out. So this is the, the mayfly. You saw, saw the nymph in the tray. This is the dun stage. So it hatched from the nymph into this dun stage, which then th this will fly off into a tree and then hatch into the spinner, which we just saw earlier. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's and almost this, like a church window. This is like a, this is a little girl. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You can tell by the eyes. Who would have thought that that slightly dowdy, almost cantankerous looking thing, you know, it looks a bit angry, will it turn into that beautiful winged creature that you just saw. It's about to fly off. There. So we try and recreate something as closely as we possibly can. Got a bit of a wobbly wing, this chap. Now here, hugging some willow, is the last stage of that mayfly. You saw the nymph? We can't find the dun, well, we can't catch the dun, but this is its last stage. This is when it, this fly is getting ready to go back to the water, complete the entire cycle and lay her eggs. And another generation is born. Look at that. Beautiful, absolutely exquisite. And here's our challenge to anyone watching this. A bit easier that way. That's around. Lee's hand actually. So anyone would like to contact us fishing for schools um, on either the Facebook page or through our blog. Just tell us what that is. That's it from us, from Charles Jardine myself here and Lee Hooper here. Who's going to shout a bit louder because he's a long way away. Lee Hooper here. Right. That's it, that'll do. It takes a while to get from where I am backwards and more importantly, it's goodbye from the delightful Upper Wiley. And there it is, sliding downstream towards Salisbury. And what a perfect jewel of a stream it is.